Hey guys, so welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Leo for uh, the second half of your November from the 16th to the 30th. Uh, we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, you may switch stories if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Leo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too. All right, so tell me about um, tell me about uh, Leo, Leo and love. What's going on with Leo and love? What's going on with Leo and love for the second half of their November for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. For Leo. Okay, with the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, we have the Chariot, Cancer, Energy. Whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that could that's in love with you or that you're in love with someone where, you know, some here is making a decision to move forward here. Uh, either you're making a decision to move forward with someone, someone here is moving forward with you. So King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Chariot, Cancer, Energy with the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, and the um, Eight of Wands here. Something is really moving forward. Something here is taking off here, Leo. Wow. Well, someone here wants things to take off. Someone here wants to reunite with you. Whoever this is, this is a past person that's missing you a lot. Someone here is reaching out with some sort of communication, making you an offer, apologizing to you. Uh, you know, I'm, 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 you know I'm, I'm kind of worried about this situation here, Leah, because whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual that is narcissistic has narcissistic tendencies here, very controlling, very codependent. Uh, you know, I feel like for some of you guys, some of you guys could have been trauma bonded to this situation, it took you a while to get away from this person, and now this person wants to suck you back in. We have judgment, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, whoever this is, this person's definitely looking for reconciliation here. I do feel like what's happening here is I, I feel like the devil is rearing his ugly head again. Six of Cups, we have the Four of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Hermit. Here's the thing. I feel like, Leo, you've made so much progress in your life in disconnecting with this person, connect, cutting cords with this person. Uh, you're happy on your own right now. A lot of you guys are definitely healing, self-reflecting, introspecting, healing from the past here. So this person has no room in your life. Tell me about this person that Leo's dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Leo? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Leo for the second half of their November from the 16th to the 30th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo, for Leo. With the Six of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Whoever this is, I feel like you're dealing with a karmic here. Yeah, the car I feel like the karmic cords for you has been cut. But whoever this is, this person's completely obsessed with you. I feel like this person definitely has a hard time really owning up to their mistakes here because I feel like there's a sense of with the Six of Wands here pretending like everything's okay, everything is fine and dandy after causing a huge explosion here. Um, but, you know, I just feel like with the uh, world card and the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like this is you. This is you, you know, removing yourself from the situation, ending things, closing out the cycle, and moving towards a new beginning here on your own. You know, I just feel like this person's definitely in this energy of, like, coming back kind of very, you know, very well put together, very stable. But I just don't feel like it's going to last. Um, I don't feel like it's going to last, Leo. Six of Wands and the Three of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Hangman. Whoever this is, I almost feel like this person plays psychological and emotional war games here with you. Yeah, it's almost like, 
I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it's almost like this person that you're dealing with or has been dealing with in the past, this person's a bit demented. Two of swords and the seven of wands. I feel like this is your energy. This is you blocking this person out. Yeah, the kar karmic cords um, between you and this person has been cut. You've been actively working on cutting this person out of your life energetically, letting this person go, doing the right thing here for you. You have your walls up with this person. You created this like force field around yourself. You're protecting yourself here. You're calling on the deity that you believe in here or that you commune with here to protect you. You are protected here, Leo. You are protected. What else do we have here for Leo? What else does Leo need to know? What that for? Work on for the second half of their number from the 16th to the 30th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Seven of Cups and the Magician. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is psychically trying to attack you to suck you back in. There's definitely a trauma bond here. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person is very deceptive, very mischievous. Okay, I feel like this person is just not getting the memo. No is no. You know, no is no. But I feel like this person just keeps poking and poking and poking and poking and poking and poking and poking. They want you to want them. This person is trying to take away your free will. And that's a very dangerous thing to do. Yeah. What this person is doing is creating karma for themselves. And this is karma that you don't want. This is karma that you don't want. And this person's biggest fear is that they can't control you. But you're protected, like I said, by your guides and your angels and your ancestors, by a higher power here. And I feel like you're, you're continually going to be protected here. Whatever force field that you created for yourself here, this person will, won't be able to poke through. Six of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Whatever this person's offering you in the past, presently, in the future, it's all baloney. Yeah, it's all baloney. Um, I mean, they could take that baloney and eat it themselves. I mean... From what I remember when I was eating meat at the pa in the past, uh, bologna is not really that great. I, I mean, personally, I didn't like it. But for those of you guys that like it, I'm sorry if I've offended you guys. <laughs> um, so we have the Five of Swords and the Magician. And yeah, this person's incredibly manipulative, very conniving. Okay, definitely always plotting, creating drama here. But yeah, I do feel like for you, Leo, this is over. This is done with. This is done with here. So Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.